Good morning. A really quick video. I don't have much battery in my camera. Uh, another milestone this morning. I have lost more weight. This is the most regularly, uh, the most consistent weight loss I've had since I began keto. I am down, oh gosh, I can't, I can't even think. I'm so excited. I've lost 90.1 pounds since I started keto. 90.1. That's actually 108.2, I think, from my heaviest. I'm pretty excited. So, a couple of things. Um, I am still on this kind of 30-day experiment, and what I found is I'm just not that interested in eating. I eat food. One day I quasi-fasted, um, but I eat food. I eat very calorie-dense food. Yesterday it was breakfast sausages. I think each one is 130 calories or something like that, or 180, something crazy. A couple of fried eggs in butter. My coffee with heavy cream. Hard boiled eggs when I feel peckish. Bouillon with cayenne pepper when I feel like I want something. And usually by mid-afternoon, I just have no interest in eating. So what this tells me, and that, that's not really different. What it tells me is that say when my lovely mate is around and he's eating more regularly, I'm having a, a spoonful of this, uh, the tip end of that, I'm nibbling and I'm eating more food than I, than I need. Now, I just, it's just me and, and I'm really truly just eating what I want to eat. Please keep in mind, this is for me. I am a small person, FYI. I never would have described myself that way years ago because I would have induced ridicule. When you're really fat, you don't ever refer to yourself as small, even though I'm short. Um, but I am now, I can own it, I am a, a petite person. I don't need much food. I'm an older person. I'm 58. I'm postmenopausal. I'm a female. So I am not not eating to lose weight. I'm only eating when I really have hunger. It's not the brain hunger. It's not the, oh, if I don't eat now, I'm going to fall over. It, I feel empty. When I feel more empty, that's when I eat. Um, it's not an unpleasant sensation. So, I, I, like, uh, if I, um, like, I'll probably have breakfast this morning, but if for something comes up and I have to run out and I don't get breakfast, I'm not going to pass out and I'm not going to be upset. Non-scale victory. I went to my high school reunion on Saturday, 40th anniversary, 40th reunion. It's the first time I've ever gone to a reunion because I was too ashamed to go when I was so fat. I had a great time. I reconnected with friends. And as one of them said, it's like the conversation that there had not been a 40 year gap. It was a lot of fun. And I'm so glad I went. Really glad to have reconnected with some people and hope to, to keep that connection up. Um, they're from out of state, but you know, we can get around, so, and, and, and one of my friends said that she had been following my blog and she started keto and she's lost seven pounds. Who knew? Anyway, um, thanks for listening. I will try to post what I ate today, but frankly, it really is breakfast sausage, eggs, and hard boiled eggs with some bouillon spread out through the day. I, that's kind of it. Someone has asked about my, my vitamins and minerals and another person has kindly posted that they feel I should be eating more vegetables. I haven't eaten a vegetable, not a vegetable, since my husband um, went out of the country. I, I, it's, I like vegetables. I just don't need them. And I'm very strong. I'm, I'm very fit. I do take magnesium supplement um, and potassium because I get leg cramps at night, which is not uncommon when you're eating this way. And um, I take vitamin D because we've got it, and I take B12 because we've got it. When, we, when, when I run out of them, I, I don't know that I'll get any more. So I don't take a multivitamin or anything like that. I'm very, I'm very strong and very healthy, thank goodness. Thank you. I hope my battery hasn't run out after all this. Have a great day. Keep your carbs under 20. It can be much lower. Mine are around 5. Only eat when you're hungry. Do not overeat protein. This is not a high protein diet. Many people make that mistake. It's not high protein. That'll make you feel unwell. Plus protein can start to be metabolized like carbs if you eat it in an excess and then you get out of ketosis. Oh, my ketosis this morning, 3.4. My blood sugar, 67. 
Victory, victory, victory. Thanks for watching. Ciao. Nanchi, te amo, te extraño. Dos semanas más. Bye.